my gosh, look! Oh Presenting the beast from Al Nasser, Ahmed Musa. Ba, 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 ba. And if you haven't already clicked off the video, welcome and boss happening, boys, to the 92 footies Ahmed Musa. One of the better super subs in FIFA, I would argue to say, based on the stats that we have here, we've not gotten into game with him yet, but based on the stats, he looks like he could be a top five, maybe even a top three super sub in FIFA. Now, uh, what qualifies as a super sub? It's usually a player that's an off-league player, but obviously, if you're running a full Premier League side and you bring on Ronaldo, he could be technically classified as a super sub. Super sub uh, also generally implies that the player is cheap to get or easy to get, and this weekly objective actually is fairly simple to get. It requires you playing four Div Rivals matches. You don't even have to win it. All you have to do, and given the Saudi Dalriel Jamil League uh, team of the season cards that are out, as well as a couple of the other special ones, including the league SBCs, shouldn't be too difficult to do. All you have to do is score one goal in four. Uh, you have to score a goal per match. So basically playing four Div Rivals matches, and you have to make sure that you score a goal. Uh, with a Saudi Dowry El Jamil League player. Now, uh, like I said, a super sub usually implies someone that's very cheap or easy to get, and this is obviously one of those players that falls in the category. A 92 Ahmed Musa, who becomes the highest rated Ahmed Musa we've ever seen. The second highest rated Ahmed Musa we've ever seen is uh, the 89 that we got for Dynamo Kiev. Was it Dynamo Kiev? No, sorry, uh, Moscow. CSKA Moscow. He got himself that 89 card last year for a team of the match day performance, I believe, for Nigeria. Uh, and then outside of that, he hasn't really gotten close. We've had an 85 Ahmed Musa for Leicester in uh, FIFA 17. We had a couple 72 rateds. And then outside of that, this is easily his highest rated card that he has ever had. So welcome to the club 92 footies Ahmed Musa. It took me about an hour to do. It's currently 3 o'clock here. I started at 2 o'clock uh, and then had to play three full matches. And then I got a rage quit in the last one, so I got it done a little bit quicker than usual. But if you're able to, if you're able to bang in goals and you get lucky on your opponents, you could probably have it done maybe in half an hour, 45 minutes. If you get three rage quits, if you're good enough, you can get this card basically for free. It's a 92 rated card. And for those of us that are still playing FIFA 19, I know there's two months left. This just looks like a card that's probably going to have a whole lot of uh, fun value to him. And that's exactly why we're using today. If this epi helped you figure out if you want to get this 92 Ahmed Musa, drop a like on the video. Always appreciate it, my bros. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button button down below. Fatal Leg 1 will be on DJ Mario's channel today. Fatal Leg 2 will be on my channel tomorrow. So fingers crossed for me, boys, that I'm able to make it through to the next round against a very, very formidable uh, Spanish opponent in DJ Mario. But like I said, boys, uh, this 92 Ahmed Musa ships with nine. Sorry, it doesn't ship with nine. I believe it has 699 stats with the 99 sniper with the uh, with the sniper chem style. He goes up to nine stats that have 99. Obviously, three star weak foot, three star skill moves. A little bit of a letdown, but uh, in in terms of what we're using this Ahmed Musa for, we're not even going to pay attention to that. We're going to swap him. We're going to put him on the right side. High medium work rates. He's fine there. He's got the work rates for a striker that you want. Uh, and then just take a look at these freaking stats, boys. 99 jumping, 99 stamina, 99 agility, 99 balance, 99 acceleration he has got and this is one of the only players in the game that has this a perfect ab rating without even boosting it with a chem style 99 99 and 99 in all ab categories acceleration agility and balance now it goes up to 99 reactions goes up to 99 dribbling we uh jacked off his composure a little bit with 90 uh, the sniper takes him up to 90 composure and then he goes up to 99 finishing and 99 acceleration just there's 99s everywhere a total of nine total 99 stats that rivals team of the season cards obviously it's a 92 rated card but uh very very excited to go in to a couple games and see how this card performs now of course we had to throw together a saudi dariel jamil side with the likes of hamdala abdul Razak hamdala who has been incredible for us in three games played he scored four goals was key for us getting this card done uh we already did an epi on him abdul rahman this guy goes for quite a bit right now if you're going to try and sell him uh i bought him for 12,500 coins all the way back in like four or five months ago. He's currently going for about 48,000 coins. So if you have him, if you've done the objective, make sure to sell your Dowry El Jimmy League players uh, because they do go for a bit of coin. We've got Amrabat, we've got Petros, who is the, who's our defensive mid. We've got Heldon, the um, uh, Cape Verde, uh, the Cape Verde legend himself. And then of course, we have ourselves that Syria backline, which we absolutely love. Uh, let's see if that Ahmed Musa is as deadly as a super sub. I know he's not on 5 chem, which he would be as a super sub, uh, but we are going to get in a couple matches here and see if this card is worth grinding four matches of Div Rivals. I mean, again, you don't even need to win. You can just go into a match, make sure you score. You've got 90 minutes to basically score with a very, very good set of selections. Let's get into match number one. Abdel Razak! Okay. 
Well, apparently Ahmed Rusa is wasting no time. That 99 pace coming into full effect. Not even two minutes in. Well, exactly two minutes in. We get ourselves a freaking goal, and he shows off that agility right there. Absolute mad lap. Oh, Jesus. I think this guy's got to get out of here. I don't know if this guy can handle it, bro. This guy's got to get out of here. Alhamdulillah. Bo, bo, bo. Abdurazak, alhamdulillah. By the way, speaking of Nigeria, have you guys watched? Have you guys been watching the AFCON Cup? Please tell me you guys saw Riyad Mahrez's goal for Algeria. 95th minute. Was it against, um... Was it Senegal? No, it wasn't Senegal. Was it? Hold on. I forget who they played, but it was 1-1. 94th minute extra time. Last play of the game. And of course, who else? Riyad Mahrez whipping it in. Is there anything more iconic than Riyad Mahrez whipping in that, uh, whipping in a free kick? And that's the sort of goal that is making a lot of people want to turn off FIFA right now. I mean, to be fair, we've been conceding those all year, but that's the sort of goal that just absolutely... some for, some for some people, that's the difference. You gotta be disciplined. You gotta let things slide. You gotta have a short-term memory. You can't let things like dabs affect you in game. You know what I mean? That's psychological warfare. That's that's part of some do. There's a, there's a whole section on psychological warfare. And that's what an emony, emony. See? That's what happens. What's happening right now? <laughs> Bro, I'm failing the test. I am 100% failing this challenge. And but you want to know what? Ah oh, man. I think he's going middle. I'm just gonna stay middle. I'm gonna go right. <laughs> Literally, the two sides that I, the, the two other guesses that I have. Come on, boys! <sighs> Ahmed Musa, four total attempts, two goals. A very nice first half performance from this absolute mad lad. Um, he's showcasing the agility, he's showcasing his finishing prowess, he's showcasing his speed. All the things that we expected from this card is living up the expectation. Held on, the Cape Verdean ledge himself, the Cape Crusader. Heldon comes to the rescue for an 86 rated card. Another guy that I definitely recommend. I think I bought, I picked him up for 35k. Another guy for the uh, the overall rating that he has. A very, very nice card. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Just an absolute mad lad. As you saw there, again, agility for days. Uh, for those of us that like to cut in. We were good enough to win that match. We just turned off. His Leroy Sané gets made of the match. Ahmed Musa is so pissed off right now. What did he get? He got a good, he got a pretty good rating. Hamdallah got a goal. Musa got two goals. Hamdallah had three assists, dude. Hamdallah had four goal contributions in that match. Just reinforces the fact that he was an absolute mad lad. And then Ahmed Musa showcasing, like I said, that speed and agility, what he's known for. Got his two goals in the first match. Wasn't enough to get us the win. 5-4. Nine goals in her first match of FIFA of the day, dude. Absolute scenes. And they show... How racist is that, dude? Are you kidding me? They show Willian, Leroy Sané, and none of the Ahmed Musa goals. All right, match number two. We're going to hopefully be able to get a result here, and it's going to be tough, though. I mean, 73 chemistry is probably something that's going to go in our favor. He's got the 91 footies common. Respect this guy for grinding that card. 95 prime icon moments, Paolo Maldini. He's got 96 Van Dijk. He's using that Marcos Alonso as a, le uh, as a left center back. I've heard a lot of people say uh, on, on stream yesterday, by the way, we finished goal three, I believe. Um, I was playing him at left back, but people were saying he's actually a crazy CDM or like a, or like a lamb. So that might be some play that, that might be a guy to try at a different position. You're like a, there's like Joshua Kimmich, few a uh, few wing backs in the game that actually even Florenzi looks like he could be a really good mid card. Oh, here we go. Red card. Yo, we just got his best player sent off the pitch. But he's got going for your close-up dude going for your afcon close-up i mean they're yeah they're not in the final never mind i take that back dude i'm in musa the agility is rapid i know i've said that about a lot of cards in the game he feels like one of those cards that i've spoken about previously 
the 99 agility, the 99 balance, the 99 acceleration can't be understated. It's ap it's nuts. If you do the body faint and if you can do it properly, it's an absolute nuts mechanic. Rage quit? What? For what? Why? There we go, Ahmed Musa showcasing that agility once again, and all he knows how to do is score. All he knows how to do is bang him in. We're up to four goals in three matches played, not even three. We caused a rage quit in that second one. I don't know why he left. It seemed like he was a decent player. Uh, we just scored really, really early. Maybe he just couldn't be asked on a couldn't be asked on a Monday. He didn't have the Monday motivation to get it done, but the agility there and then an absolutely beautiful finish from Ahmed Musa to put it away uh, in the sixth minute. So his, he's got a knack for scoring early. Let's see if we can put a let's see if we can put a few in, maybe get a Hattie here in the third and final match. Gone. <laughs> Up in Musa! What an absolute mad lad! The Nigerian the, the Nigerian nightmare. The Nigerian prince himself, he's up to five goals and not even three matches played. Showcasing that was probably the most Ahmed Musa goal that we're gonna score all, uh, score all epi. S uh, straight line sprint. Straight line pace. You don't need the three-star skill moves. You, you, don't need, you don't need the four-star skill moves. You don't need the four-star weak foot. Uh, and he bangs it in with his left right there. Hey! What? <laughs> and it results in a goal, Alden, uh, nonetheless. We get ourselves the third goal with Nordin Amrabat. Uh, and then he scored. And he, did he hit that with his left foot? I'm pretty sure he hit that with his left foot. I mean, I don't know. That was a good strike. It just hit the crossbar. It was a little bit unlucky not to go in. But um, the three-star weak foot hasn't really shown to be much of an issue. And we cause a rage quit in the third and final match. Ahmed Musa, I couldn't give more of a glowing review in terms of value. You guys already knew what it was going to be when I told you guys what the objective was at the start of the video. We're going to give it a thumbs up 100%. All you have to do is play four rivals matches. Don't even have to win it. You just have to make sure you score a goal with a Dalriel Jamil League player. In terms of on the pitch performance, I'm not going to blend the value in terms of how that affects his in-game performance. But he did everything we asked him for. Uh, we did everything we asked him to. Five star. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to give him four and a half out of five stars just because just because he doesn't have either a four star weak foot four star skill moves it would be a perfect five if he had a four in either of those categories uh but we are gonna have to fall short of the perfect five um and then also the league obviously but we also are rating him as a super sub so four and a half stars four and a half infinity fingers out of five and then also the perfect value rating as well Ahmed Musa kicks things off um, and does madness for us in not even f three full matches played. But that is, like I said, boys, gonna do it for the Epi. If this helps you figure out if you if you feel like it's worth the grind doing it with the Saudi Dalriel Jamil League players to get this Ahmed Musa card, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.